friends, I'm working on the solo out of this book to a song with this title. Yeah, the solo. Let's see. So I was, the last video got us uh, through that the theme, which is sort of like the way I would play it if I wasn't reading it would be... to the solo that's where I left off and I was like oh boy I better slow down but actually the solo is not too hard that's what's nice about this song it's not that overwhelming so um, let's just see if I can show you this we've got that uh We've got a raunchy little, that's like two to four. Then a three on the second string. I'm hitting two strings on that slide up. Third and fourth string, two to four. Then the three. Now I'm gonna hit double fourteenths. Double 14s on the A and D strings. That's a, a B and an E, so it's a chunk of an E chord. Then I get double 12s on the D and G string. So we got B and E, D and G. Gnarly. Anybody can learn that. You know, so that... Whether or not you like the song, just learning these little pieces, then you, you get double 14s on the third and fourth string. Wow. Then you bend the 12 on the third string, a half step. I like to like just rotate out. So those are eighth notes. Then we got sixteenth notes. Fourteen, twelve, fourteen, fourteen. That's cool. Da, 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 boom, boom. Um, but the 12 is your third and fourth string. Then you got your low E. Now the solo starts. I love that boom, boom. Uh, I use that in phrasing a lot. Boom, boom, wah. I'm thinking like Foxy Lady. Or Purple Haze. That kind of boom, boom, wah, and here it is, boom, boom. So that's just, you know, full on rock star business right there. So he's finally really hitting a high note. That's the second string, 15th fret. Oops, missed. <laughs> that's a D bending up to an E, a full step. with vibrato. And remember, the vibrato is not just your finger. You got to get your kind of wrist in there like 
How do you describe that? <laughs> Cool, huh? Oops, missed. Ah, okay. <laughs> All kinds of bad things can happen. Nobody got hurt. Then it's a 12, 15, 12 pull off. 15, 12 on the second string. Wow. Okay, I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm going to take it from... <laughs> and then we've got... Uh, a 1214. That's a unison bend, a B and an A. The A com comes up to B. So these are the kinds of things I always teach. Like, hey, let's learn like some. And here's Jimmy going. Very normal rock and roll, lead guitar, key of E, blues, soloing. <coughs> Not impossible. Oops, I see this. Okay, there's a 15. So that's... And... 15 on the second string. That's a D, plus this A, bending up to a B. Cool, man. So it says hold the bend. Okay, so I'm gonna go. That sounds really cool, doesn't it? And then. All right, the solo's pretty short. Let's do it again. Yikes! So that's that unison bend again, two times, then a pull off 14 12, 14 12 on the fourth and third strings. A rest, and then we've got this. Hammer on double twelves to double fourteens. Then a twelve fourteen on the fourth string. Double twelves on the second and third string. And then high E open with an X on the second string. I wonder who transcribed that. That's kind of tricky. Then we've got some X's, 16th notes. Like, one E and a, two E and a, three. It's mostly 16th notes in this measure. And then a. So he's just kind of like scrubbing away. Cool. Let's see what's next. And then we've got our verse, which has got when he says, strange, beautiful, grass of green, with your majestic silver seas, your mysterious mountains, I wish to see closer. May I land my kinky machine? And on that, he's playing these chords, like uh, this little uh, E9 suspended four.
breaks back into the theme. So though that was just a chord that, you know, did Jimmy look up a chord book and say, oh, E9 suspended four? Probably not. He just like, hey, man. It's just, an, it's just a sound, basically. So those are sevens on the fifth, fourth, and third strings. Sometimes second string, sometimes first string. So it kind of varies from this, this, and this, and this, with a couple of nines. So he's just jamming, basically. It's like, hey man, let's play. like that and then he kind of goes like and uh, things are gonna get real weird here on this interlude uh, well actually no we're still kind of doing another verse where he's like talking well let's see it's just a little interlude where he's hitting some just a little mess you know just a little sp space rock there it's kind of like a D E D and no chord feedback feedback this and that and then strange beautiful and another solo it goes grass of green with your majestic silver seas and he's just hitting open strings and Your mysterious mountains I wish to see closer. May I land my kinky machine. That's crazy. Very, very simple. Now he's gonna get weird. Now he's just gonna, he clicks on the fuzz face. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it now. There's your chord for the day. I always tell my students, the key of E is awesome because you can play, you know. You're in the key of E. It's just wacky. So guitar can be pretty forgiving and amazing. I thought this was going to be really hard, so I was prepared for some, you know, serious... Uh, struggling here but you know i think it's just kind of refreshing to see how loose and free this wonderful song really was and then we'll we'll pick up on this um maybe this sort of outro solo which is gonna get a lot of whammy bar and kind of crazy noises and you know we'll see if we can get if we can read that and get through it together and if you're interested this is the book i'm looking at transcribe scores Jimi Hendrix Experience, are you experienced? Hal Leonard Publishing. Yeah, I think it seems pretty well written out. Well, I'm going to take my guitar lesson now from my teacher, Eddie Angel. So that's why I took a shower today, so I'd be nice and fresh for my lesson. And uh, I'll show Eddie my 64 Strat, and I think he'll dig it. And I'll say hello to Eddie from each of you. So long. <laughs>